This is the Cooley adding machine. It was an invention of Adolf Bort, who had worked with Paul Weber making the attics. It was built on the same architecture as the attics. There's a little bit of disagreement on when it was made, but 1913 is probably the best candidate for the date. That's when Bort filed his patent and when ads start appearing. So this is my Cooley. The Cooley, like the attics, was primarily a column adding machine. Although the Cooley is more sophisticated than the attics, it has a shiftable carriage. And in that fashion, columns of multiple big numbers can be added. But also, that shiftable carriage allowed the, uh, the Cooley to multiply. On the inside, you'll notice the same tooth rack as the attics. Another version of the Cooley had a button whose purpose was to shift the carriage. Cooley's method for multiplication was just absolutely bananas. Cooley in German means pen, which is fitting, because you're going to need a pen for multiplication on this device. Cooley wasn't the only one using this weird multiplication method. Master used it. Here are the papers to show that Master was up to the same thing. Also, Bernard Baer used it in his Argos. So here's how it's done. Let's use that sample problem of 325.72 times 412.23. First, you write the multiplicand on the top paper backwards, and then you write the multiplier on the bottom paper, normal ways. You line up the right-hand number of the multiplier with the left-hand number of the multiplicand. Now here you have some options. You could press 3 two times, or you could press 2 three times. It's best to just press the larger factor the amount of times of the smaller factor. Those of you following at home on pen and paper, see if you can beat me. So once you've done that, you then shift the carriage one place to the right. Now, two numbers will be lined up. So now you go about doing the same thing, working left to right, pressing the smaller, the larger factor, the number of times of the smaller factor that it lines up with. Now you'll see that pretty soon my paper's numbers stop lining up so great. One would have hoped or expected that the original papers would have lined up better than my printed papers, but they really don't actually. So you go about doing the same adding of each factor until you reach the very end. There's no subtraction which would allow you to correct a miskey. Not that the user would ever know when he miskeyed, because there's no check register or counter register either. The sample problem took me six times to get it right. And when I finally did get it right, it was almost kind of like mystical. I understand that it's just adding a whole bunch of partial products but I'm not a mathematician, so making logical sense of what's happening here is not first nature for me. But you don't have to take my word for it. Steven Weiss has a website with a Cooley simulator on it, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. So I just keep pressing buttons, not really understanding what's happening, but just trusting that it'll work. And eventually, 54 key presses and eight carriage shifts later, I got the right answer. Serial numbers didn't get much higher than the 1200s on these, so they're pretty rare today. I guess even calculators can only skate by on their good looks for so long. Thanks for watching.